Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your WordPress server. The WordPress server are the fastest solutions on the market for WordPress websites. It's a dedicated cloud VPS or instance, and it's powered by our, powered by our NVMe storage drives with dedicated resources, and it gives you full root access to the server. And we also include our managed support for the Debian OS and manage support for Plesk. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is choose a WordPress server tier. So we have three tiers, four tiers available at this time. And if you need a custom tier and you want custom resources, contact us and we can set up a custom uh, WordPress server resource for you. But I'm going to choose the mini tier. And I'm going to click order now. And here you could select monthly, annually, by and biannually. You'd select the data center, which right now there's only two, but we're going to be expanding into all our data centers in France, Germany, Singapore, and other data centers as well. If you'd like to enable snapshots, snapshots are backups. You could take a snapshot of the server. It's not a backup. It's not an automated backup process. If you want automated backups, and you want to back up your server into uh, the cloud, contact us and we will set that up for you as well. It's very cheap through us. But snapshots are basically um, taking a snapshot of the cloud instance in real time so you can revert back to that snapshot at any time. I'm going to leave that disabled for now. I do not want snapshots enabled. We'll come down here and we're going to select the Plesk operating system, which we will need to manage our WordPress websites. So here we have a couple options and um, the options are the plus key web admin, the web host, and the web pro. So if you want 10, if you have 10 domains, you can go with the admin. If you have 30 domains and you want some more subscription management, account management, you can go with the pro. However, if you're looking to do resellers, uh, you want to create reseller plans. You want to have resellers on your um, WordPress server um, and you want to have people selling through you. Then you can go with the web host option. These are very cheap discounted Plesk licensing that we provide through us. So we recommend going through us. We'll all, we also work with the engineers to fix your Plesk issues and we raise tickets on your behalf. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the web admin for now and you'll click continue and pay for your server. After you pay for your server, you'll get an email that says, we are currently working on deploying your server and it's an automatic process that usually takes anywhere from 15 minutes to one hour to deploy your server. So we have an automatic deployment process that will deploy your server in one hour if it doesn't create a support ticket you'll get two different um, emails one is your license key for plesk and one is an email that shows your server is ready with the username and password and if you click this right here you'll be taken to this video that shows you how to set up your wordpress server so let's get started the first thing we want to do is we want to connect to our WordPress server. So you need to download this client called Putty. Very easy to download. Just type in download Putty. You can download it to your computer. Once installed, we're gonna enter the host, the host name or IP address and we're gonna enter the IP address and click open. We're gonna click yes. And we're gonna log in with our username and password. Copy. Right click right here, enter. Now we're logged in. So now it's simple. All we have to do is sudo su, which means we're logging in as the root user. And we just need to run this command, which installs Plesk. The so one command line, and I'm gonna post this command line, or I'm gonna post this command in the description of this video. It's very simple, right click, just like this and click enter. And so this process will automatically install Plesk 
it's best to use this process. It takes around anywhere from 15 minutes to install Plesk on your WordPress server. And the reason we're using this method and not auto deploying Plesk is because this will get the latest updates of Plesk um, and it'll also assign a host name to it and you'll have everything up to date uh, right away. And it's not a long process. It's probably with the NVMe drives, it should be done pretty quickly. All right, so the installation just finished and it took around 10 minutes. And if I had more CPU cores and more RAM, it probably would have went a little bit faster. Um, if you check out right here, this is where I'm managing the WordPress server. You can manage it directly under the portal, the uh, RootPal portal. And you have all these different options you could do by powering it on, powering it off, rebooting, going to the console. And when you go to the console, this takes you to the direct IPMI um, link to it. So if this, if you can't access it, the network or you can't do anything, this is like KVM access to the, VP, uh, the VPS. You can also reload it into rescue mode which is great if you forget the password or there's a problem with the operating system. You can reinstall the operating system. Um, the disks and the IP address, uh, IP addresses here, you can manage all your IP addresses, change the reverse DNS and everything. But now here you can see my service information. This is where you can see that I only have one uh, core and I only have 40 gigs of NVMe storage and two gigs of RAM and my IP address. So let's go ahead and set up the Plesk. We're almost done. We're just gonna go to this link right here. Um, you copy it, right click, and then you'll take it in here, control V and click advanced and click continue. We'll do it one more time. I don't know why it makes you do it twice, but it does just to warn you. So that automatically logged me in. Um, using that secret login secret link and now we're going to type in our information. So I'm going to leave it as administrator for now. Um, I'm going to type in uh, IT at RuPal just because and I'm going to type in a password. Um, and this has one CPU core and it's really fast because of the NVMe drives. So this is this is pretty good. Um, and one CPU, CPU core is good to start with if you don't have a lot of visitors or you're not looking to host a bunch of websites, you're just looking to host a couple websites. One CPU core can handle a lot of users simultaneously, around 50 to 80 users simultaneously on your website if they're not clicking around too much. So now we're going to proceed with a paid license. So let's go back to our license key and we're going to grab this product key right here copy it and enter the product key and you can so what you can do this is optional right you can proceed with a full featured trial license what this means is you're going to get the web host edition so it's cool you could try out the web host edition so i'm going to actually just leave this with a full feature full featured trial license because i want the web host edition i've i don't know what it's about so might as well test it out, right? It's free for 14 days. You don't have to do anything. Um, you don't have to pay. And then worst case scenario, you don't want the web, the web host edition, which is the most expensive one. And you still can enter your product key at any time um, in Plesk. So right here, you can go already have a license and just enter your product key in right here and then it'll convert it. But this is the web host edition that you could test right now and you have 15 days. So I like to do this. I like to switch to the service provider view because the service provider view is where you can create resellers and a bunch of other stuff. So there are some up, uh, updates we need to do and you can just go ahead and click update all. and you can update anything, uh, any other packages you need to update or whatever. But that's basically it. That's how you set up your WordPress server. There are a bunch of other things you need to do to 
perfect to prepare um, your server. There are a bunch of things to set up, how to get your resellers ready, um, mail configurations, PHP configurations that you could do globally and get ready globally for your WordPress websites. And I'm going to cover all that in my next tutorial on 10 or 15 steps to take on setting up your WordPress server for reselling, um, hosting WordPress websites, or whatever you're trying to do. But if we go here to tools and settings and go to server information, you can see uh, all the information about your server, the RAM, the storage. Uh, we have 35 gigs available of NVMe storage and everything you need to see. So yeah, stay tuned for other videos on managing your WordPress server and that's how you set it up.